Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the second part of my double shot bulletin day on the Angry Astronaut. If you've clicked on this, you're probably experiencing a range of emotions that extend anywhere from disappointment to outright rage. How dare he say something like this? Starship is definitely going to make it to orbit by 2023. Hell, it's probably going to go in January or February. Well, the title of this video is not actually actually my own opinion, but rather the opinion of a spaceflight analyst over at Gizmodo. However, after reading all the details from his article, I must say that I agree with him, at least to some extent. I think that there is a strong possibility that SpaceX isn't going to be launching Starship to orbit from Boca Chica this year. Indeed, I think there's a lot of evidence to indicate that they have given up on the idea of trying an orbital shot from Boca Chica some time ago, and I'm going to explain to you why I believe all of this in just a moment. Now, just to be clear, the man who wrote this article, George Dvorsky, is a very widely published and highly respected spaceflight journalist, and this is what he had to say about Starship. Quote, I have a hunch that SpaceX won't launch its fully integrated Starship on an orbital test flight in 2023, or at the very least, it won't successfully perform an orbital test in 2023. Musk has said as much, predicting early failures. The rocket is filled with new and untested components, making it likely for Starship to fail on its way up or down. Dvorsky goes on to write, Indeed, the rocket still seems a bit half-baked to me, with full-fledged static fire tests of the booster's 33 Raptor engines yet to be performed. 14 is the maximum performed so far. And then there's the whole issue of reusability, with the company's gigantic Mechzilla Tower expected to assist the gigantic booster when making a controlled vertical landing back at the pad. The Starship's upper stage will have to survive re-entry, which may be a considerable technical challenge. This is really conceptual stuff, and it's going to take some time for SpaceX to figure it all out, which I'm sure it will. Well, at least he had something to good to say at the end of that quote. But I have to admit, I think he has a lot of good points. If SpaceX does indeed intend to carry out an orbital launch from Boca Chica, they have a funny way of showing it. Up to this point, they've only been carrying out limited static fire tests. Now, granted, they have managed to carry out that one 14-engine static fire of the booster, and that, of course, is very impressive, but 14 engines is not 33 engines. Obviously, it's not even half of 33 engines. And also keep in mind that this was a static fire carried out with the booster, not on the full stack. In addition to that, they haven't carried out a wet dress rehearsal of the full stack either. But the most important thing to consider, in my opinion, is the fact that SpaceX still has not dug a flame trench underneath the launch pad. Why? Especially given all of the odd things that have been happening in the aftermath of these tests with the concrete directly underneath the pad. It's been producing debris in alarming quantities even after they treated the concrete to make it more resilient. This is perhaps the most telling example that I was able to find in terms of just how much debris is being produced by these static fires. And I I can only imagine how bad it's going to get with 33 engines lighting up at full power prior to takeoff. Yeah. 
Given what SLS did to Mobile Launch Tower 1, and keep in mind that SLS has half the thrust of Starship, what Starship is likely to do to the surrounding area in Boca Chica is a little frightening to consider. And this is something that I think SpaceX is beginning to realize as time goes on, and one of the reasons why I think they're not bothering to dig a flame trench. I believe that Boca Chica more and more is becoming a test facility rather than a launch facility. I think that SpaceX has so much to lose by risking a full-fledged takeoff in Boca Chica that they're simply not going to risk it. Instead, they're going to test the vehicle as much as they possibly can, possibly with some suborbital flights of the booster and of the orbiter utilizing the new Raptor 2 engine, things like that, but they're not going to risk a full-fledged takeoff, which could result in a full-fledged anomaly, which would be the equivalent of a tactical nuclear explosion going off a few kilometers away from South Padre Island. An incident like that would not only sabotage the future of SpaceX's operations in Boca Chica, it would sabotage the future of Starship itself. A conflagration of that magnitude would cause so much devastation in a technically protected area that I just can't imagine all of the red tape, lawsuits, and other things that SpaceX would have to face in the aftermath of that kind of event. It's going to be a lot safer if SpaceX just carries out all of the preliminary tests that they need to carry out in Boca Chica and then attempt to launch from Cape Canaveral, where they have facilities that are far better suited to an exploding super rocket. That's something that Boca Chica is just not very well equipped to handle, and the surrounding community, in my opinion, is not also very well prepared for just such an incident. I think it would come as a tremendous shock to everyone in the region and would make people think twice about what SpaceX was really doing there. Given everything that SpaceX has to lose by attempting a fully stacked launch in Boca Chica, as opposed to what they have to gain by just carrying out limited tests there and attempting to launch from Cape Canaveral instead, I really think that that's what they have in mind for the future. But that's going to take time. It's going to take a considerable amount of time, actually, before Cape Canaveral is going to give the go-ahead for just such a test. And also, SpaceX has a lot of things to do still before they're ready to even take off from Cape Canaveral. So do I think that Starship isn't going to take off in 2023? Well, no, I actually think that it probably will from somewhere, but I think it's more likely that we're going to see a successful orbital test from Cape Canaveral than we're going to see one from Boca Chica, and it might be more towards the end of the year. However, it's also important to note that Starship does need to take flight soon, both in terms of deploying the version to Starlink satellite, and also in terms of fulfilling SpaceX's obligations to Artemis. No astronauts are going to be setting foot on the moon without a functional starship. Smash that like, hit that subscribe, and thanks so much to Lab Padre, Rocket Ranch, Mars Embassy, and Epic Space Flight for their amazing footage, and as always, stay angry about space!